Hey guys, Roland here. Just wanted to take a second to talk about the gearing in Marvel Future Revolution. It's a new mobile game that came out. Uh, it's only been out for almost a week now. But um, I wanted to go over sets, how you get them, things like that. So first, uh, you'll get costume boxes uh, normally just by playing the game. There are some here, for instance, uh, just you know, beating missions, getting kills, things like that. You will get these costume boxes, and I've already gotten some of them down here. Uh, for instance, defeat, defeat villains, defeat villains, defeat villains. So just playing the game will eventually unlock you some of these boxes. Uh, and those boxes have the base items in it. So if we wanted to look at that, uh, we could look at our inventory. And that can give you any set that you want. Um, it's usually going to be greys. Uh, but, you know, you'll get some... If you get lucky, you'll get green and a blue. But what you're really looking for are these regional pieces. And you can see that by this glowing distinction around it. So even if you get that in the gray, that's really good. That's what you're looking for. Uh, and the way you're going to build these up is with the... Uh, I call it the item smasher or the combiner. The smasher is the one where you get the roll. Um, but the combiner over here. And what you're going to do is say... I say this was a regional piece and I say cool this was also the set that I wanted awesome I'm just gonna enhance that I'm gonna put five other pieces in here non-regionals or just something that I don't want any any trash uh, so this convergium you will get this all the time this is your basic this and gold are your basic uh, currencies in this game uh, this green one is a little harder to get, but uh, you can actually craft up. You can use your gray ones to make green ones and your green ones to make blue ones, and I'll go over that in a second. Uh, so what you're going to... You basically, in this game, you can smash things up to a higher level. So if I wanted to do that, I would combine, and then I would get a, a green version of this item, and uh, then I would have to do that again to go to a blue. So... For instance, I don't have enough greens right now, but if I wanted to make this Midgard Tiara, which does the air current class, um, I would do that. I would have to have five other greens, and I would put those in and smash that up. Uh, same with blues, same with purples, and the cost just goes up every time. So I have a blue one here, so this one takes ten now, and three of the blues. So, uh, if we go back over here to the crafting station, I call, and we look at this, uh, in this third tab over here, you can smash your gray convergium up to uh, green, and then you can, if you need blue, you can take your green convergium and smash it up to a blue. Uh, and you can also do this for your uh, purple. This is for specializations. Um, so, now that we've gotten all that out of the way. Oh, wait. Forgot about one thing. In the workshop, also, you can use these costume uh, sets. So, this is whenever you're getting more in depth on, like, I, I'm playing Storm. I'll kind of go over my build now. So, I'm playing Storm, and I got kind of lucky. I got two pieces of Sakaar that are a region set. And if you look at it, it says four set bonus here. Deep Freeze Class. This class is a big thing. Skill level plus three. If I had four, four pieces of that set. So, I got lucky, and I have two region pieces. I have the Sakaar Gloves and the Sakaar Helmet. And then these are just items that... I don't have other Sakaar, unfortunately. If I go to Customize, and I go to Theme, and I go down to Sakaar, you can see <laughs> I've gotten really unlucky on chess, and I've gotten really unlucky on boots. I've never gotten one. So that's currently what I'm hunting for. 
but I would use those at purples. I would use those at blues probably to get that set bonus. And that sounds crazy over this red because that red is a lot of stats, but it's a lot of HP. And <laughs> my boots rolled four times HP. Uh, kind of unfortunate, but boots are a very defensive uh, statted item, so that's the way that works. Um, so, but if if I had a four set of Sakar, I would use it at probably purples because what it would give me is, like I said, this deep freeze class skill. Uh, and to look at that, so there, I've seen some some things online, people asking, well, where's the deep freeze skill? Uh, it's actually if you look at your masteries. For instance here, I'm using Electrocution. The class on this mastery is Lightning Cloud, which sometimes these masteries can change, sometimes they don't. Obviously, Weather Witch is a lightning ability. So any, any mastery you choose is going to be the Lightning Cloud class. Icicle Crash. Once again, these are all deep freezes because you're shooting icicles. Uh, you can find that here, class, deep freeze. Now, something like Atmokinesis. If I were to use the Wall of Lightning, that is Lightning Cloud. If I were to use the Nature Strength, that is also Lightning Cloud. If I used the Wall of Wind for a cooldown reduction, that's an Air Current class. I am currently using the Wall of Frost, which is the deep freeze class. So again, that goes with my Sakar set. Uh, I also use pressure manipulation. Uh, that is the air current class. And deep freeze, obviously the mastery on all of these are going to be deep freeze. Um, so what you really want to look at in these sets are what class does it, uh, does it give you the skill in. And that is going to be how you want to target uh, farm these boxes here and say, okay, well... So I got I got lucky, honestly, and I didn't know about this whenever I started, but I got two pieces of Sakaar regional, and I was like, okay, I'm just going to go Sakaar set, and then I kind of looked into it, and I was like, oh, that's actually really good. But basically what I'm doing here is I am now farming this Storm Costume Teo Sands, and this is the same for everything. You're going to get a 1 to 3 Storm Costume, and it has a chance of dropping this regional drop. Uh, I think it can also have the regular version. Uh, actually, no, never mind, it doesn't. It, but if it drops the Sakaar piece, it will drop at a regional item. But you have to look at it and say, okay, uh, what are the chances of actually getting this? Because the Sakaar items are very few in here. And most of the times I just get other things, of course. Um, but this is going to cost you the material from that planet or the where it's from. So Teo Sand, that is for the Sakar set, is going to cost you the Sin Particle, which is just a basic crafting material, which you get from your special operations. So do your special operations every day because this Sin Particle is going to become very, very useful. Uh, and you also get like today, is a Xanderth costume set. So that's another way you're going to get your... It's a 1 to 3, and this resets every day. So you'll get these rewards once a day. Uh, and other than that, so let's say I wanted to make this... Uh, I have the materials. I say, okay, make the Sans one. Uh, I either wait these two hours, or for right now... For the sake of this video, I'm just going to say, all right, finish. And I got X-Men uniform gloves. Cool. Uh, so that actually helps me zero because that does the Wind Rider skill. So that's w another reason why region sets are better because this does the Wind Rider skill. Whereas the other one does the class uh, that I was saying, the basic sets, your, so for Storm, it's the 80 set, the 90 set. Um, the modern set, so the modern set I have here, which is just basic attack skill plus one. Uh, the 
X-Men uniform, Wind Rider skill, plus one right now. Uh, it, that is just one skill that it would do. So it would just get your basic up if you had all four. It would just get your Wind Rider up. Whereas with the region sets, it can get multiple levels on multiple skills. So um, that's kind of a quick look in how the gearing works. And uh, I hope this helps. This is my first video I've ever shot, so let me know how this went, if it was good, bad. So, uh, thanks for watching. See y'all in the next one.